Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaya. I'm so happy to have you here today and today is a really big video. Um, you can already tell by the title, but today we are making crochet checkered bucket hats and I'm so excited to bring this tutorial for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting a long time. Um, I actually have three here and I'm gonna put on one because I made one specifically for my head when I have a bun on. Um, so here she is. I love her. This is, okay, so let me just get into the video because I have a lot to cover. First, I have three announcements that I just want to cover really quickly. Um, the first one is these stickers. Um, in honor of this bucket hat tutorial video, I designed these stickers with my sister and it matches the colorway that we will be making today and you can put it on um, your laptop, you can put it on a water bottle, they're completely waterproof and super high quality stickers. And um, and I just thought it would be really cute if after you finish making your beautiful bucket hat, you could have a matching sticker too to show off you know, your bucket hat when you're not wearing it. You can be like, oh, you see the sticker? Yeah, I have the bucket hat, it's at home right now, but I made that, you know what I mean? So um, I worked on this design. I'll have like a clear video here. And if you want one, I'm selling them on Etsy right now. I only bought a little bit just because I wanted to see how you guys feel about it. And it was really fun. I really want to make more stickers in the future. So I hope you guys like this design and um, it'll really help out the channel. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. And yeah, so if you're interested in that, that will be on my Etsy. Now, announcement number two. Um, this time I will be releasing two sizes um, because I'm making a written pattern for this tutorial. I, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be done by the time I post this video, but I'm working on it as we speak and it will be done. It will be posted um, in the next few days on my Etsy. And in that pattern, I'm just going to go over two different sizes and um, in the video eventually I will also go over like my dimensions and what hat works best for me but in my last hat bucket hat tutorial I heard a lot of people say that the hat was too small for them and I felt really bad I wanted you guys to be able to have a hat and uh, be able to make it bigger if you need it bigger and smaller if you want it smaller so I did make two sizes for the bucket hat I made a like normal medium sized hat and I made a larger one and I like the larger one because I can wear my hijab with a bun on the back. And so that's why I like the larger one. But I'll tell you the measurements for my head and everything in uh, a few minutes in the future so that you guys can know which uh, type, which size hat you want to make. So um, as long as you're using the same size yarn and the same hook, hopefully they should turn out fine. But just in case, I do have two different sizes. Um, because, you know, I want everyone to be able to have this hat and wear it because, you know, crocheting is a lot of work and I want you guys to have a product at the end that you love. Um, so yeah, there will be two different sizes and I'm releasing a pattern. And for my last announcement, I wanted to thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers. I'm just in awe. I just can't believe it that, that so many people are actually willing to listen to me and stuff or, and hear me blah 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 and um, it just is really sweet of you guys. I'm so honored and I hope I can keep making content that you guys like and um, thank you for all of your beautiful comments. I read all of them. They really mean a lot to me and thank you for subscribing. Um, so I covered everything that I need to. Let's get right into the video and talk about some important things. First, I wanted to talk about the sizing. So the circumference of my head is 23 inches and there's two sizes for the hat. There is, this will be the normal size and this is the bigger size. So um, the normal size hat is 9.5 inches across and this one fits on my head pretty snug um again like this hat does stretch quite a bit you do kind of have to break it in so as long as you can put it on your head one time um if you just do it a few times acrylic stretches pretty well so it should fit on your head without any worries um but i can't have a bun on when i put on my hat but with the other size hat, this is the bigger one and it's 11 inches across. It fits best when I have a bun, like when I have a bun on the back of my head and with hijab. I just like how it fits better. Um, 
I don't know. So this one is just best for when you have your hair down and this one is best for me when I have a bun on the back. So pretty much if you don't wear hijab, then this size, the normal size should be fine for you. But if you like to wear buns and um, you just kind of want a bigger fit, then this size is great too. So also another thing, this pattern does use acrylic yarn, but if you want to use cotton yarn, you totally can. I would recommend sizing up because cotton yarn tends to shrink things a little bit. Um, I don't know why, maybe because like the crochet, I don't know. I just found that for me when I made the hat, um, I would make the bigger size and it would fit me like the smaller size. And um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Um, so that's all for the sizing. Okay, so for materials, um, all you're gonna need is acrylic yarn in two colors, two or more colors, anything you want. Um, I used size four medium weight yarn. I used specifically the brand Karen from Joann's. And you can use cotton yarn, but your hat will be a little bit smaller, like I already said, so just keep that in mind. You might wanna size up. And um, if you don't know how to size up yet, don't even worry, I explain it very clearly in the video, so you'll see that. I used a five millimeter crochet hook some scissors and a yarn needle of course and so the the stitches that you're gonna need to know for this pattern it's pretty simple and if you don't know any of these feel free to just google them and you'll be an expert on them because there's so many YouTube um, YouTube tutorials on all of these um, you need to know the magic ring it's also called the magic loop or magic circle um, that's just how we're gonna start the hat you need to know how to chain how to double crochet how to slip stitch how to single crochet how to increase and how to change colors because with the pat with the checkered pattern you're gonna have to be changing colors quite a bit so just I just want to explain the process really simply before we get started so we will be crocheting in rounds starting with the magic ring or the magic circle and every row will begin with a chain two and every row will end with a slip stitch into the second chain from the start so I'm just telling you all this just so you can have like a very brief understanding if it doesn't make sense don't worry the tutorial is super clear i show you everything i go through every row with you so don't even worry if this is so much information for you i just want to prepare you um it's going to be a total of 17 rows and um round one through six are they all have an increase some sort of increase in them in row 17 to 13 they're exactly the same there's no increases you are just doing the same number of double crochets all the way around and then rows 14 through 16 have the same exact type of increase from rows 1 to 6 so it's a pretty simple layout and then also row 17 is just a single crochet all the way around in any color choice this one is optional I just liked the brim to have this solid color but if you do just want to have the end be different colors that looks really cute too it's totally fine um, so yeah row 17 is optional Oh, also, um, if you do make this hat, I would really appreciate it if you would credit my YouTube and my Instagram. Um, I worked really hard on this pattern, so it really means a lot when you guys give me credit. And feel free to sell hats, too, if you want to add these to your shop. But, again, I just do ask that in the description of your product, you do give me credit that I made the pattern and all that. Um, it just really helps me out because this took a lot of work. Oh, my gosh. I had to make so many hats. There's... A lot of like practice hats hidden in my room somewhere that I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to like reuse that scrap yarn so yeah if you guys just wouldn't mind giving me credit that means a lot to me and I also love seeing your guys's um creations I love reposting them on my Instagram because I love seeing your guys's colorways and I love seeing how you guys make it your own I hope that's helpful and I hope that you know throughout the video I will explain how to do the different sizes um, I hope you guys like this video I'm so excited to bring it to you um, please like and subscribe if you do enjoy it and if you want to see more tutorials just like this one it really helps out the channel and yeah let's go okay you guys so I just wanted to say an FYI so I know this is 17 rows total but I just want to explain to you the rows so for this checker, there's going to be two rows of the same colors on each other. And then there's going to be two rows of the same colors on each other. And after these, then the rest of the hat is in three rows. So does, if that makes sense, that like the first four rows are divided in two. And then 
we're gonna do three rows of each color to get that checkered look because I did try it and like every two I would change colors and I didn't think that it looked like checkered squares it looked like rectangular which it was still cute but I really preferred this method so I just wanted to keep that in mind for you guys so after row four for row five six and seven you will be staying in one color so that'll make sense that'll make more sense when we get into the tutorial but I just wanted to explain that now so let's go okay so first we are going to start with the magic loop so I put the yarn in my hand like this and I put my thumb down and I make an X I wrap it around once and then I put my hook under that yarn, pull through, and then chain one. And that is how you do a magic, magic circle or magic ring, people call them both. And then you're going to chain another one and you're going to yarn over into the loop and pull through two. Now, because we're going to be changing colors, you're gonna to have to add in your second color this time to finish this double crochet. So holding on to this and your second color, you will pull through like that, and then this double crochet is finished. So then we're gonna do our next double crochet into the loop still. So holding on to all of the yarns you are going to yarn over into the loop, pull up, and then you'll pull through two, and then you are going to change colors again, like that. So in this row, we are not going to count this original chain two as a double crochet, but we are going to want 12 all the way around, and I'll do all 12 with you just so you can see how I change colors back and forth. So I'm going to yarn over into the loop, pull up, chain two, and then change colors, pull through, and I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, this is like one double crochet. And this is the last one, 12. And um, you're going to want to finish this double crochet in the red because the next round you are going to start with red. So make sure you end that one with red. Okay, so now we are going to close our magic circle. So you want to remember whatever color this one, this string here is, that will tell you which string to pull. So you'll pull on the red until you are satisfied with how tight it is and that's not really going anywhere and we can weave this in at the end or you can do it now and you don't want to pull this yarn because this yarn is attached to this chain and if you pull this one it'll make this chain um, like super small and you won't be able to close it so just keep that in mind you only want to pull the one that makes the loop smaller okay so now we are going to finish this row by looking for our original chain two from the start. You can see it's one here and one here. And I'm going to stick my hook in. You wanna keep in mind that this pink yarn, you wanna keep it um, kind of like close. So 
um, when you put your hook into that second chain, you want to make sure that the pink yarn is over the hook so that it's like hidden in the hat or else it kind of will look loose. So then you'll pull through both and you will slip knot. And there it is right behind. So it's really close. And now we can start our second row by chaining two. Now from here on out, every time we chain two, that will count as a double crochet in every other row. And in this round two, we just want to increase in every single stitch. So because this counts, all we have to do into the next stitch is one double crochet. And because after this double crochet, we will be going into the pink stitch, you want to make sure you end this um, double crochet in pink. So I'll do this with you. So you'll pull through two, and then before you finish, you'll change into pink. And you're just preparing so that in the next double crochet, you can start in pink. So you'll yarn over. Keep in mind, you want to keep this yarn here just so that it's hidden. And you'll stick your hook in, pull through, and you'll double crochet normally. And then one more, double crochet, and change to red because the next double crochet will be red. So we're just going to be doing this all the way around. And I will do this one more time with you. Yarn over. Okay, so you are going to be doing this all the way around until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, I will show you how to finish. Um, so yeah, just get to the end. Okay, so now I'm at the end of this row and I wanted to show you um, what I do on my last double crochet. So um, I'm going to yarn over and I'm just going to double crochet like normal. I bet you didn't expect that, but it's for a good reason. So because the next row, we are going to be doing the checkered pattern. So we're going to want to put the pink where the red is and um, switch the colors up. So now we are going to close this row by counting one, two, and make sure you keep this um, red yarn close. And you're going to stick your hook into that second chain and you are going to slip stitch in the pink color. So now we are on the third row. So we are going to chain two as usual and now in the second chain we are going to increase. So we're going to have three double crochets total. Remember the chain two is a pretend one. So we will double crochet like normal and then this will be our third one. So it's one alone and then two in the next one. And then make sure to change colors because we will be doing red double crochets next. So now in this one, we will do one double crochet here and then two double crochets into that next one. Finishing in pink. So that's going to be the pattern all the way around. One double crochet, and then two double crochets, and then changing colors on that last double crochet, on that last um, pulling through two. So I'll do one more with you. Okay, so now you're going to repeat this pattern of one double crochet, two double crochet, in every two stitches all the way around until you get to the end. And I will do the last double crochet here with you just to show you how to get to your fourth round. So I'll see you there. Okay, you guys, so now we are at the end and we are gonna be doing our last double, my last double crochet. 
And this time we are going to be finishing in pink because our next row, we are gonna want to be pink up here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Top of the second chain, slip stitch. And now, congratulations, you've made it to row four. <laughs> so we are going to chain two. And now we are going to do one normal double crochet into this stitch and then an increase in the last one. So this is kind of the pattern for the first few rounds. We just increase in the last stitch for every single color. So we're just going to double crochet like normal. Sorry, just need some more yarn. And then in that last stitch, we will double crochet normally. And then that last one, we will change colors in preparation for the next stitches. So we will be doing two normal double crochet, and then on that last one, we will be increasing. So double crochet double crochet and increase and then change colors on that last one then just gonna keep doing that all the way around So that is how you do round four, and um, it's really helpful. You can tell which round you're on just because there's four single crochet or double crochets here. So that's a good indicator of where you're at. And I will meet you um, and finish the last double crochet here with you so that I can show you how to start the next row. Okay, so now we are at the end of row four and I'm on the last double crochet. So this time we will be just normally double crocheting because our next row will start with red. And we're gonna find our second chain, stick our hook through that, and slip stitch. And now we can officially begin row five. And it's the same idea. You're gonna chain two, yarn over, double crochet into the next stitch. Normally, double crochet just one into the next stitch. And now, in that last one, we will increase. And on that last increase, we change colors. So now we are going to do that again. So, yarn over, double crochet normally in the next three stitches. and then increase on that last one, and then pull through. Okay, so this is the idea for row five. You're gonna wanna normally double crochet just once in these three stitches, and then on the last one, you're going to increase by double crocheting twice. And you're gonna do that all the way around, and keep in mind that this row will start with red too, so you're gonna want to finish in red, but I'll do the last double crochet here with you again. I'll always do that in every row. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I am about to finish row five and we are going to double crochet here and change colors because our next row will be in red. So we are going to go into that second row and slip stitch. Alrighty, so it is the same idea, the same thing that we've been doing over and over. You're going to chain two, double crochet, normal, you're going to double crochet normally until that last stitch. And then you are going to double crochet. So you should have a total, and then you'll change colors. So then you should have a total of six double crochets, including that chain two. And that's gonna be the pattern all the way around. Again. <laughs> so.
So you'll yarn over, double crochet, and then on that last one, you will increase, finishing in red. Okay, so for this row, it's gonna be a little bit different because in order to get that checker, like in order for the checkers to be more squarish, um, we're gonna be doing three rows of the same color. I kind of covered this earlier, but just to repeat myself, um, for the rest of the hat, the checkers will be in three matching colors, if that makes sense. So when you finish this row, and again, I will do the last double crochet here with you just to show you um, that change, you will be finishing the same way we finished row five. You will be changing into the red color because this row will be red. So if you're confused, don't worry. I will see you at that last double crochet and I'll show you exactly what I mean for the seventh row. Okay, you guys, congratulations. You made it to the end of row six. You are almost there. So um, like I said before, this next row is gonna be the exact same colorway as the row that we just finished. So I'm just going to do my double crochet here and make sure I finish in red because this row will be in red. And I'm going to slip stitch and then you're just going to do the same exact thing except this is a really important part for if you do want to change the size of your hat so if you want your hat to be bigger this is where you change it this is where you are going to do another increase so if um, if you want your hat to be one size bigger you would do a chain two double crochet double crochet double crochet double crochet and then increase by doing two double crochets here if that makes sense so then you will have seven double crochets total on this row all the way around now, if you want your hat to be smaller, then you would finish, you would not do an increase here. Like, I'll, I'll show you. So in this row, because this is as big as I want my hat to be, I'm going to chain two and just do a simple double crochet all the way across with no increase at the end. So I'm doing one double crochet in each stitch. All the way to the end and I'm changing colors so I will continue to have six double crochet and if you want your hat to be smaller than this then that's what you're gonna do after row five so that you will continue to have five double crochets all the way until I tell you you have to increase again so that is what we're going to be doing all the way around there will be no increases we are just going to be crocheting like this all the way until the end and just I'm gonna do every row with you but just so you can kind of tell for the future if you know you have a good footing on this until row 13 you will be doing the same exact thing six double crochets all the way across so um, just keep in mind too that every three rows you will change colors for that checkerboard pattern so don't worry if I'm putting a lot of information at you but just keep in mind that for the next six rows oh my gosh just keep in mind that until row 13 you will have six um, double crochets in each color and that every three rows you change colors so I will still do one more colorway for this row. Keep in mind we're in row seven, but there is still just six double crochets. And sorry if I'm repeating myself a lot. I just want this to be super, super duper clear. And no matter what, even if I like confuse you with my words, I'm still gonna do every single row with you. So don't even worry, you will not be left alone at all. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the way to the end and just one double crochet changing colors so you will do that all the way around and I will see you at that last double crochet and remember there are no increases in this row so I'll see you there 
Okay, so now we have reached the end of row seven. So I'm just gonna finish my last double crochet. And this time we are actually gonna stay in this color because we are gonna be switching up the color scheme. So finish in pink and then we will finish the way that we always have. One, two, and a slip stitch. And yeah, so same thing for this row. You are just going to be double crocheting into each stitch just normally as you would. So every color will have six double crochets. And just a reminder that this is row eight and gonna finish in the next color. And yeah, so we're just gonna be doing the same thing that we did in the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six double crochet in each color all the way around. And I will meet you on that last double crochet to start row nine. Okay, so now this hat is starting to be round. So we're gonna have to go at the halfway look. Okay, so now we are finishing row eight, and I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record over and over, but I just want this video to be so clear and not confusing. Like I would rather have too much information for you guys than not enough, so I'm sorry if this video is so repetitive. I just have to say that. So I'm gonna be finishing this row with a normal just one double crochet and changing colors and then chain two and now this row is the same thing it's going to be there's no increases it's just chain two and double crochet all the way around So this row is going to be exactly identical to the row that we did before. And so I'll see you at the end of row 9. I'm not going to go into too much details. So I will do the last double crochet with you at the end. Okay, so we are finishing row 9. Yeah, okay. So we are finishing row 9. And it's the same exact way that we finished row 8. And this row is going to be in pink as well. And it's I, completely identical to the row before it. So we just finished row 9 and I will catch you at the end of row 10 to finish it and start row 11 with you. So right now you should be crocheting row 10. So now we are finishing row 10 and we will be having a color change. So we will double crochet and finish in this red color and we will be starting our 11th row on this hat in red. So that is the only difference about row 11, but everything else is exactly the same. You will continue to single double crochet into every stitch all the way around. You will have six of each color. And um, just by the way, row 12 and 13 are exactly the same, but I'll finish row 11 with you and start row 12 with you, 12 with you anyways. So see you there. Okay, so now we are finishing row 11 and we are going to finish it with red so that we can start the next row in red. And we just slip stitch it. In this row, row 12 is going to be the same exact row as before. Just single double crochet all the way around and I'll see you to finish row 12 and start row 13. Okay, so now we are finishing row 12. Last double crochet and this next row is going to be exactly the same as the previous one. Same number, same number of double crochets all the way around. We are just going to be 
doing one double crochet into each stitch and I will see you at the end of this row because the next row will be a little bit different so I'll see you guys there okay so now we are finishing the 13th row and you're going to be finishing in pink because we are switching colors this row and now we are going to go back to what we were doing at the beginning when we were increasing and it's the same exact idea we're on the last few rows too you guys so you're almost done just hold on um so you're going to chain two and you are going to crochet normally in the next um five stitches i think we'll see right now <laughs> So you're just going to normally double crochet one time in each stitch until you get to that last stitch where you will increase. You'll do two double crochets. So then you'll change colors at the end of that. And then you'll do the same thing here. I'll just do it with you just because um, you're going to double crochet one time in every single stitch. And then once you get to that last double crochet, you will increase. You'll do two. And then change colors. Okay, so you're gonna do that all the way around until you get to the end. And I will meet you here so that I can finish the 14th row with you. And we can start the 15th one. We're almost done, you guys. I'm so happy, so <laughs> see you there. Okay, so now we're finishing row 14, and it's going to be the same finish that we've been doing before. We're going to finish in pink so that we can start that next row in pink. We slip stitch. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this row is going to be the same as the last row. We are going to be increasing only in the last stitch. So this is row 15, and you are going to normally double crochet all the way across. Oh, sorry, I'm having a difficulty for some reason. Just got to hang in there. We're almost done. We're on the second to last row of double crocheting. Okay, so now we're at the end. We're at that last one. And we are going to increase there and then change colors. So all the way around, you will double crochet normally until that last stitch. And then you will increase by doing two double crochets. And I will meet you at the end of row 15 to start row 16. Okay, you guys, we are on the last row. So I'm just doing my last increase. So remember this row, on every last stitch, we increase by doing two double crochets. And... You change to pink because this row is in pink and you're going to go into the second chain slip stitch and this row is exactly the same as the last two rows so you chain two and you double crochet completely normally all the way to the end until that last stitch where we will increase so just bear with me. This is the last rows of double crochets. And if you made it this far, I really hope you're liking your hat so far. Because <laughs> I definitely am. Okay, so we're on the last stitch. So one double crochet, two double crochet, and change colors right at the end. So you're just going to keep up that same pattern and I will see you at the end here where I will finish this row with you and we can finally do our last row. I'm so excited. I will see you there. Okay, you guys. So we are, I'm going to show you the entire hat. We are officially on the last row. So we are just going to close off this row and oh, I still have one more double crochet to do. 
And so this time I'm going to do a normal double crochet here because my last row is just going to be a bunch of single crochets going all the way around in red. Now you can do it in pink or you can do it in any other color. Um, if you want to do it in pink, obviously you want to finish this in pink. If you want to do it in a different color, I recommend just closing this off. Um, in any color I don't think it'll make a big difference and then just adding in a new color and single crocheting all the way around but I want to do it in red because um, it's already here and I like how it looks so you're just gonna close the way you always have by going to the second chain and slip stitching and now we're just going to chain one and single crochet into that same hole that we slip stitched in and that is your first single crochet and you're just going to single crochet all the way around uh, of course this is optional so feel free to not do this if you just want your hat to have this end that's totally fine too um, but I just like to keep this pink yarn here for just a few stitches I'm just gonna do it until there and then you will get your scissors and you can just snip this pink yarn and you are done with that and then I'm just gonna go all the way around and single crochet this edge border and um, I'll meet you at the end and then we'll close it off and we'll finally be done Okay, you guys, so we have reached the end of the tutorial. So this is the last step. So I'm just gonna do my last single crochet. And then if you look at it, um, it kind of doesn't matter. This is like the chain one that we did and then this was the first single crochet. Just get your hook under whatever you can. And it's kind of tight, but. I just put it under that. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see, but you're just pretty much going to put your hook under the first single crochet that you made, and you're just going to do a slip knot and then do one more slip knot just so that it's tight, and then leave a tail so that you can sew it in, and you'll just pull through and you'll just tighten that as tight as you can. And you have your finished hat. This is how it should look at the end. Um, just go ahead and hide these tails and then you'll be completely done. I really hope you guys liked it. I think it turned out really cute and um, I hope you guys did too. So thank you so much for watching. Okay, another thing that I found too was that if you make the hat inside out, like the checkered, it still looks nice. Like if you want like more of like a, it's always a risk taking off this hat because I don't know if my hijab is going to go with it. Anyways, so if you do turn it inside out, it's like still kind of cute, but it's like more like a bowler hat. I don't even know, but I don't know. Does this look weird? I don't know, but all I know is that it's your hat so you can wear it however you want. Here she is. I'm actually wearing the bigger size to put on the smaller one. I have a really big head too, you guys, so. Okay, here's the smaller hat. It's not a huge difference, um, but it does significantly fit better when I'm not wearing hijab. Anyways, okay, so I wanted to do the outro in one of these hats. So, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you do like videos like this, if you want more tutorials, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps a lot and it lets me know that you guys do like these videos. If you have any corrections for me, if you have any advice or questions, feel free to put those down in the comments. Um, I will reply as soon as I get to them. And I hope by now you have your own lovely little crocheted bucket hat, your own checkered bucket hat. And I would love to see it. So tag me on Instagram at Yasuk. All of my social medias are Yasuk because I would love to see the different colorways that you guys did because I'm sure you guys were a lot more creative than I was because I only made like two colorways. Um, again, if you want to check out the stickers, my Etsy is Yasuk. Oops, upside down. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and take care. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye, you guys.